Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Settlers Rise of an Empire. It's time to go to the third level, Galos. And we have a new knight, Elias. Your Majesty, it is an honor and privilege to serve you. I fear I am the bearer of bad news, though. The ruling family of neighboring Galos is dead, struck down by a mysterious plague. Now their lands are racked by civil war as rival factions vie for control. The Baron of Randolfingen has usurped the throne. Now he denies the villagers access to the harbor for trading basic goods. Randolphing and soldiers are pillaging the surrounding villages regularly. The Sheriff of Janisburg wants to help the villagers against these attacks and restore peace to the area. Janisburg hired mercenaries to protect the villagers, but they aren't strong enough to overthrow the Baron. We should build up a settlement here and get into contact with Janisburg and the mercenaries. We need to restore the trade. This Baron and his thugs must be stopped before all of Galos starves. And so we're going to take Elias with us. Now, if I haven't mentioned already, each knight has their own special powers. We have one or two powers, basically. Uh, so, Alandra has the ability to heal, but that, like, heals specific things, but she can't actually do that for a little while, so... Uh, and she can also get more money from the Cathedral. Marcus can actually give troops more torches if they need them, if they're nearby him, when he uses his power. And Elias... We must build up a strong settlement here. As soon as I am sheriff, I should visit Janisburg to find out how to stop Randolfingen. We must help the village of Monstein to throw back the Baron's army of thugs. Elias is able to provide food to anybody nearby him for a short amount of time. It actually counts as 30 food. So it's a fair bit to use up. So that might be good to use at some point, but not right now because I'm not in trouble. It's good for clearing out people on strike in the marketplace if you need to. Uh, I need to get up on running with food and a few other things. I'm going to get rid of you. Now let's also see if I can get some stone. Could even set up a uh, a woodcutter's hut, hut up here. I don't know if that's a great place though, because it's a bit far away. But then everything's a little bit far away, so uh, I'll just put one there. I'm gonna try and get wood going as quickly as possible. I should probably set up w at least one thing of food, just so that we're not gonna die all at once. Okay. Need to upgrade a few buildings. We also have 25 stone to start off, which means we can actually upgrade the castle immediately. But that's going to slow things down a little bit as well, but I'm going to do it. Because I'm crazy that way. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Might even need to upgrade the food supply at this point over there. Upgrade that. I mean, we have Elias, just in case we need any extra food. Also, the price of a outpost in each territory is a different amount of gold. Which is important to keep in mind, because some of them are, can be expensive, but usually not that bad at the moment. But speaking of expensive, let's take yes, Elias leash. over this way. Because over here is a ruins, but of course. which we can get some money from. Just like that. We also probably want to claim this territory, but it costs 300 gold, and we are not getting gold quickly. Uh, also, if we go up this way, orders. we can't do anything with the story at the moment, but we can at least Welcome, explore. Stranger. We need help, but we have been betrayed before. We will only trade with you if the Sheriff of Janisburg approves you. As we can see here, some of their buildings have been destroyed. 
But uh, we're going to need to do something with some stuff. Mainly the, the wolves castle. that are here. Which we can use uh, Elias to just take out quickly enough. This is probably the better strategy is just to take out the wolves with your knight. Especially these wolves early on because they're going to be annoying later on if we don't do anything. So let's see Love if we can course. get rid of the last one. They do roam around As a little bit so I'm concerned that they've moved. And I need to find them again. Nope, Love they're still course. there. Very nice. And I mean, you definitely want to get rid of these wolves at some point anyway, so. But there we go. You can send back. Way. I believe the your knight will also heal over time as well, so that health will go up slowly. Now, let's see. What else do we need? We need clothes, but I also need to figure out some more food stuff because I want to have my 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 full setup. If that makes sense, because right now there's uh, a lot of things that we could be doing. So let's put in a farm, get some grain. It's not the greatest place for farm or well, field there, but it's fine. I'll just go with it. Let's set up a bakery. If I can get it somewhere. Okay, there we go. There's only so many places you can put it when they're overlapping like that. Great year. Great that. I've got a lot of wood right now, so I could probably... Oh, actually, no, not really. I need a lot more other food stuff, but I also need two tanneries. As you wish. Uh, Elias, you can stay there until the promotion is ready for you, which won't take very long at this point. Actually, no. I need to claim this territory over here. If I get this territory over here, As I can have a, a load. A full collection of gains. So let's do that. There's also a bear over Fullness here that we can fight. Salt. I don't know if Elias can beat a bear, because bear's actually really I strong. Retreat to the castle. Unfortunately, so that's going to be something we can't do. We can see on the map that the edge of this area is actually onto the green, and the green is actually the Baron, who's not good, I believe. A territory. Uh, but we can't do anything much more than that for the moment. As Elias, you go over on. here because you're about to get promoted. Uh, let's get some more foodstuffs over here. And by foodstuffs, I mean gain. I believe there's also an iron mine over here. Full. Anyway, promote. I have worked hard for you. I appreciate the new title. Now we are strong enough. I should visit Janusburg to help with the fight against the Baron of Randolfingen. I must travel to Janusburg in the northeast and offer our help. We must stop this Baron of Randolfingen. Okay. I'm gonna build a road over this way, which may seem strange, but I think this is the way that I want to do it. Our ah, that bear is, is full. In a, a being a problem. Also, I have a lot of... Uh, too much stuff. So I need to upgrade the storehouse. I'm probably gonna upgrade the cathedral at the same time, because that makes sense. Why wouldn't I? Ah, uh, but now that we're up to this level, we're gonna be going through resources a lot faster, so it doesn't matter anyway. That we were struggling with resources. Also, it's winter now. Also, I press tab to make sure things show up. Also, my brain, I'm just going really fast right now, and I don't know, don't know why. Uh, we should probably get onto that iron, and then get an army so we can take out that bear, maybe. Get some better productions going. Don't have enough stuff, okay. We really need to get these hunting lodges going, but we also need to take out that bear, which is going to take a little bit longer. I'm going to leave the story for a second. I could go do stuff now, but I, I want to get a little bit more comfortable first with this setup. I can set up some broom makers, and then that can take care of wood, probably, and also, uh, what's it called? Cleaning, of course, obviously. Also, if I can do what I want to do, I want to do a thing, because it's a cool thing. Trust me, it, it's always a cool thing, but I need to wait a second. Because what I want to do is, if I wait a second, a little bit, just a little bit more time, just a little bit more time, it's fine. Uh, hopefully I have enough wood for this. I think I should. Okay, so I'm going to slow down time. Upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, and then please upgrade them all at the same time. I don't think it's going to be at the same time, but maybe, no, I'm, if you can get all four buildings in a row to build at the exact same time, it's super satisfying to watch. Uh, anyway, let's upgrade you. I am very Promote, upgrade, same thing. 
We can also make bows now and train archers. So a that's something we should do. Has no grain field. Okay, but it's okay because it's now a good time of the year for you. Uh, let's send Elias to where he needs to go. The city of Janisburg. Uh, well, there's actually a few other things I can look at right now, so I'm going to go over this way. Hi. Welcome to Reedfurt. You seem to be a noble knight. Please go to Janisburg first. If the sheriff approves you, we will support you as much as we can. And then this blue area up here. Well, it's not quite connected to where we need to be, but it's fine. On your orders. I do want to go up this way first, though, as well, to show that there's another thing up here. It is good to meet you, O Knight. Please travel to the city of Janisburg. You are awaited there. Aye. Let's go to Janisburg. Welcome to Janisburg. Let's talk about how to take care of the suffering settlers of Galos. Also, I have a, if I haven't mentioned I have already, reached the city of Genesburg. We all suffer under the rule of this evil baron. A wise ruler would be concerned for all the settlers of Galos. It seems that we have a short break from the baron's extortion. Hurry to Munstein village and see what they have to offer. Once you've established yourself, seek out Castana Cloister. The monks there are in need of your help. If you visit the village of Reedfort now, they will be happy to trade with you. The settlers are hopeful that you can bring peace to Galos. Okay, that's all the stuff they have to say. Uh, if I haven't mentioned already, if a city with their uh, storehouse has money, the money icon above it, that means you can buy from them. Which means that here... Why can't I do that? We can actually buy sheep and cows here. I know how to trade. And also stone and wood, but you know. Less and get a little more. So one of... Oh, hang on. One of Elias' abilities is to have a... On your orders. Discount when he buys stuff. Still has serpent to trade with you. You'll suffer the... please? Can you... I it, always have some spare food in my pocket. This is ridiculous. I they're not saying... Settlers nearby. ...the stuff that they're supposed to be saying. Our storehouse is open for trade with you. We have the best cheap in all Galos. In exchange, we ask you to help us in the future. If you buy a flock of sheep at our storehouse, they will walk to your sheep pastures. They'll provide you with wool to produce woolen clothes. Thank you for buying a flock of sheep in our village. Your sheep will walk to your territories on their own. Now that we have bought a herd of sheep, we also need to build a sheep farm. A stone quarry will soon be depleted. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, anyway, we can now build a sheep farm, which is good for us. A sheep farmer has no sheep. The sheep will eventually get here. We also bought cows, but I don't know where they've gone. Our sheep farm has been built. A sheep farm needs pastures to provide a safe home for the sheep. Click on the sheep farm, select the pasture, and place it near the farm. Our also, the farm actually the runs on road. water from the sheep marketplace. Care of filling their trough with water and shearing them to gather wool. It is a bit slow, though, to farm wool from sheep. So... But yes, the game, like, loves to interrupt me. <laughs> it's fine. Also, they weren't saying the stuff that they were supposed to be saying before. But that's... what The sheep are one of the reasons that you want to take out the wolves. If, because if you buy... If you buy sheep from over here in this storehouse, they'll go past the... the wolves. Uh, anyway, we don't need the stone cutter anymore. That was fast. I, I'm playing the game at full speed, and everything just goes by in an instant. Uh, but anyway, I'm also going to buy some of that. I don't really need it, but I'm going to buy it anyway. Uh, we can now make woolen clothes, at least, once the sheep actually do their thing, eventually. Uh, I probably also want to run a festival, so let me do that, since we can get 28 spouses. Uh, but let's go to the next 
thing that the game wants me to go to. On your Village. Also, while I'm going absolutely insane trying to keep up with everything, let's actually produce some soldiers and maybe take out that bear. You bet. Attack! Don't give up! Keep fighting! Also, it amuses charge. me that when you Full say ch they, when when you attack something and they say charge, it means that they're just running across the map with their swords up in the air until they arrive there, but they're running for so long. Uh, store has open for business. I did it. I found them. If you visit the village of now, they'll be happy to trade with you. Settlers are hopeful that you can bring peace to Galos. The Reedford storehouse is open for business. Oh. We have the finest stone in the Galos Vale. Please build a bowmaker and bowman barracks to recruit a battalion of bowmen. We need your bowmen to train our local forces. Our troops are under attack. Well, that's good, because that's what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, we lost a little bit of a cart uh, has that arrived, one. Bearing resources. That troop is now okay. slightly smaller, but that's okay. I can also now get some more gain. And probably make some more sausages. So we do just a little bit more of that. Uh, but anyway now, he wants us to send them a battalion of Very archers. Good. Your bowmen are ready. At once. Please send your buy... bowmen to our barracks to train our local forces. Okay. On our way. We can also buy cows and stone there, but I don't think we can even do any. No, we can do stuff with cows now. Okay. The game's just being weird. Anyway, let's build a cattle farm and let's build a pasture for them. A cattle pasture. I'm pretty sure that has to be specifically a pasture for cattle and a pit pasture for sheep specifically. But now we can also make a, a dairy to get some cheese with the milk. It's gonna speed up this group of archers. A cattle farmer has no cattle. He should have cattle. I bought cattle. I don't know where. It, oh, there it is. I think it goes to the marketplace if the, there's nowhere for them to go. Your bowmen have arrived, and they will start training our men immediately. They'll be back as soon as the training is over. Can you deliver swords to us? We would be willing to sell iron to you at a fair price if you help us. I can Our send you swords. Have been trained now and are ready for hire. Okay. So now I believe, Pink, we can actually buy a groups of three archers. Which are... Kind of mer mercenaries. That that's that's the kind of thing it is. So you can't actually have them in groups of six, but you can buy them in as like just keep buying more of them, I guess. But it's not extremely helpful. Uh, but anyway, swords so gonna be a little bit longer because I have to wait for the thing to make them. Uh, but I can. Huh. Another outsider mucking about with the local politics. Well, the more the merrier. It's good to know you're around. Also, this group of bandits is here in the middle of the map, but they're friendly bandit bandits, believe it or not. With Kestrel leading them. I think uh, archers may have gone through there. We can actually build an outpost here if we wanted to get that stone as well, but I think we're good on stone for the moment. And actually, it's probably a good idea to build a wall of stone around our city if we can. Oh, it might be a bit difficult because of stuff overlapping and all that. Oh no. Please? There's one pixel that I can do that. Also, I think that's the wrong way around. Hang on. Let me take a second here. Like that. That's probably a lot better shape to it. I'll do it like that, just because that's the only way it's going to work, apparently. Now, where can I... Please? Really? Uh, let me get rid of that grain field for a second. See if that helps. Not really. This is my problem with building a wall every single time is just, it does not want to fit. You really need to build it first, probably. Can I please? Also, the the shape, like the, if it's going up a hill, it doesn't like it for some reason. There we go, that's there, and that's there, cool. That's the first part done. Uh, but I also want to probably rotate the camera so you can actually see where there's a hole in the, the defense, so. We have this cliff here that we can use to our advantage to basically use as a wall. 
Uh, but we need to fill up over here as well. So let me do... Something like that. Cool. Make sure that the things are on the other side. Make sure that things are on the other side. There we go. And good. Okay, but I think there's one other place that we can need to block off over here, so... Let's just do that. There. And that there. Cool. Good. Great. Okay. Let's also go... Hang on. Can I send these swords now? Not yet. Must be getting close, though. But I think that's everything block blocked off. Why aren't you doing anything? Are you just trying to keep on top of things? Okay. Uh, I might need to run another festival just so that stuff is doing what it needs to because when they're spouses in a building it means that they'll do like they'll get supplies for the main stuff to happen so uh, but anyway I really need that to go up please uh, for the moment though let's go up this way to the cloister At once. see if we can get yes, some stuff happening But of course, yes, my liege. Can you please, please, once you've established yourself, seek. Welcome to Castana Cloister. We offer a safe place for all the refugees from the Baron's tyranny. We have to keep our cloister clean and healthy for all the refugees. We need your help. Please send us brooms. You know, that's something I can do, you know? That's actually something I'm very prepared for, is sending you brooms. Surprisingly, I was not expecting, uh, something that easy. Also, can I please put these in here? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, send you brooms. The stuff is under control now. Must need to speed it up. Apparently, I think whenever the game does, like, a, a speech thing, possibly it's gonna stop everything. I'm also going to try and build my army over here, for reasons. Uh, I also can actually upgrade the castle again, and possibly my other main buildings as well, so I might do that, since I have the resources for it. And I've already built a wall, so I don't need to worry about that. How are we doing on resources, actually? We have a lot of wood. <laughs> like, a lot of wood. We could actually probably sell it all and a cart build it back dispatched. slowly. But we're doing pretty well right now. Gonna run some more festivals. A grain farmer has no grain field. Oh, what a shame. Also, thank you so much for delivering the brooms. Now we will be able to keep our cloister clean and healthy. Please take this cartload of cheese for your settlers as a little reward. Okay, so we, they sent us cheese as a reward. That's pretty good. Get some more of those. Can I send the thing now? A yes, I can. Cool. Everything's set up. Also, if I can find my archers, if we build a stone wall, we can actually put them on top of a wall. Surprise, surprise. Over and they the will actually guard from on top and shoot from up there, which means that they can shoot at soldiers that can't attack them back, basically, unless there are more archers. But that's a pretty good strategy, so... Ah, uh, but now, we can also, if we're on the other side of a gate that is, uh, an opponent, specifically, I think, we can actually go inside of the tower here, and then open the gate. Uh, I think it also can be for a, a palisade gate as well, you can, if you're on the inside, you can unlock it, basically, and leave it open for your own troops to do their thing. Ah, uh, but anyway now, just need to wait for some more time, and then we can actually figure out what we're doing next. It was bearing goods arrived bearing from afar. Ooh, but bearing bearing goods come from afar. A cart has arrived bearing goods from afar is what you're supposed to say. But I can see where you got confused. I shall sure also probably save at this point. As uh What's a good thing to say? Uh, uh done the stuff. It also is all lowercase when it saves anyway, so don't bar don't bother even putting capitalization in. It lowers it anyway.
This is also how I normally save my game, is done the stuff, like, set up, foothold, you know, all the things. Soldier's limit has been reached. The soldier's limit is also the based on the castle. We can see the limit here is 61 as well, so. The swords you delivered will help us to protect our village. As a reward, we can give you some iron for free. If you need more, we'll sell it to you at a fair price. Settlers of Monstein, your taxes are due. Time to pay for my selfless protection. Settlers of Monstein. You said that already. Taxes are due. Time to pay for my selfless protection. We must help the village of Monstein to throw back the Baron's army of thugs. We must help the village of Monstein. Okay. Throw back the, <laughs> the game Baron's is very confused at the moment. Thugs. I'd like to help these settlers, but these mercenaries are expensive. But if you have the gold, these men will fight like they are defending their own homes. A cart Send them a hundred gold. We need to protect this building over here. Yes, my So, liege. we could just let stuff happen for the most part, but we are pretty well set up, so we should be able to win this fairly well. Also, I love the way that the, like, well-set-up cities look in this game. We can't really see most of the map here because it's all in green. But yeah, I, I love the, the well-set-up cities in this game. Especially when they're a different color for some reason. Like when they're green or light blue or something. They just look better for some reason. I just like the colors. I like the color differences. Being blue all the time is... I'm too used to it, you know? Ah, uh, but anyway. Now we just need to wait for stuff to happen. Ah, you got the gold. This will convince my men to help the villagers. We'll fight back the next attack. A cart has arrived bearing goods from afar. Could also even run a service at the cathedral to try and get some more gold, even though I don't really need more gold at this point. I'm pretty good on gold. As long as you have a good setup with your economy here, you don't really need to worry about gold because gold just comes in from everywhere. In all places. Well, see, when buildings get darker and more green and, like, green smoke around the place, that means that they're getting dirty and need to get more cleaning supplies. Can't even do that. What? Oh, because there's a thing there. If there is a, uh, a cart in the, cent in the marketplace, you can't run uh, any kind of event there. Except for promotions, probably. Uh, it looks like we're about to run out of time. Which is good for us, because that means that stuff is happening. I'm paying a lot of money to soldiers at the moment, which is fine. As you command. Yes, my liege. You bet. As you command. Get rid of the things, please. Tax collectors. Not sure if this is working or not. This time we stop the Baron's extortion. This time he could not plunder this poor village. We want to raise a palisade around our village as a protection against Randall Fingen's thugs, but we need a large amount of wood. If you help us, we can build the palisade quickly. Settlers of Monstein, your taxes are due. Time to pay for my selfless protection. Selfless protection, eh? Settlers of Monstein. You've already said that. Your taxes are due. Time to pay for my selfless protection. Game is Please very confused. With these thugs returning again and again, we will soon be wiped out. If you could just this once pay our tribute to the Baron, we could survive a bit longer. Have to pay the money for them. I'd like to help these settlers, but these mercenaries are. The mercenaries aren't really expensive. doing much. <laughs> but if you have the Where gold, are they? These I think they're actually over here, aren't they? they are yeah. Defending their own homes. A cart has been dispatched. So everything's been dispatched. We should be good now. 
Just need to wait some more. A cart has been dispatched. I'm, just gonna try, I'm trying to wait for this cart to go away. A cart has been dispatched. But it doesn't seem to be. Thanks for the wood. We'll now begin building the palisade. I hope this will stop those thugs. Ah, you got the gold. This will convince my men to help the villagers. We'll fight back the next attack. Thank you for helping us. Your payment bought us some extra time. Now we must think about countermeasures. Well, you've already thought about countermeasures, but anyway. That's why we've got the palisade being built here over, over, over here now. To stop stuff getting through. So I think I probably want to move my army over here. Also, the uh, the way that the army forms is interesting because if you, if you have a whole bunch of stuff selected, they'll all form up in a, a line of like three ranks, and your if your knight is at the uh, in the army, he will always be at or they will always be at the front. So, but anyway, we're getting close to the end of this now, and I can't get rid of this thing here. Why can't I get rid of this thing? That's strange, because there was an option to send it away before, but now it's not- that option's not there. So that's weird. The game's just struggling right now with figuring out what's happening. Ah, uh, but we are about to win. Gonna set it back down to one, and just wait. We could have gone over to the right of our base to get some more fish as well, if we wanted to get fish. This time we stopped the Baron's extortion. This time he could not plunder this poor village. It hasn't even happened yet. You meddling knight. You helped these villagers to build a palisade. Now you will pay for your impudence. Troops, prepare for an assault. But of course... We must protect this city. So now they're attacking us. Uh, but they have uh, war machines. Which allow them to destroy walls and gates. Uh, which is why we need to set up a wall. Uh, but I think we're actually alright, because I don't think they can actually do anything. Unfortunately for them. I could even be even more rude and, like, build a palisade out here. I don't think that's gonna do much, but I could do it. Anyway. So. Also, uh, the river, as I've probably mentioned already, freezes when it's winter. Which can be a, a way to go across places and all that. Also you a way to think that your city lose. wall protects you? Uh yes. You're right for now, but next time I shall bring my battering ram. Okay, cool. On your I'm doing orders. fine then. As you wish. We haven't quite got to the winning condition yet. But we are getting there. City's looking quite good now. And look at all the stuff at the top of the screen. We have 53 food, 36 clothes, which I could even make more of, and 42 uh, cleaning supplies. That's very good. An iron mine will soon be depleted. Oh no, not my iron mine. Gonna put in this here and also that there. No, actually, I'm going to go with wood. I'm going to go brooms. Can I please dispatch this thing? Nope, I can't dispatch this thing. This is a real shame. Also, what's happening? Is something happening? I think something's supposed to be happening, but it's really not at the moment. I'm, hop I'm, hom I'm hoping that nothing's actually... like, stopped working for some reason. I think it might just be because of the time of the year, actually. Uh, but what I could do is actually go check on. over here and see what's happening. There's nothing happening here. There's no way to get up that way because there's a wall. Uh, I could, however, go over this way as well. Oh, hello. Stuff's actually happening. Although, is that because Elias is in the area or is that just happening? I don't know. We'll find out. So, you're smart enough to put up a wall. At least you're learning from your mistakes. But let's see if your gate is strong enough to stand against my battering ram. Uh, I think I should be alright. On our way. 
So why is there a soldier back there? It's fine. I'm just gonna spread out my army a little bit more. On our way. Just so that when they arrive, we should be able to do things. Also, if you have a battalion of soldiers or bowmen, they can, act can actually guard Elias. But it means that Elias can't move very fast, so... The Baron is too well protected in Randolfingen, but he personally oversees moving his gold to the harbour. We can catch him on his way there. Okay, so we need to catch the Baron, who can see us moving by the way that the arrows in this are moving slightly. So we need to catch him when he goes past. It's basically like grabbing or guarding a cart or Elias. Who, if you want to get the guards off of something, you just go dismount like that, and then you have the them selected. Uh, but let's keep an eye on him. This is the wind condition. And he's coming this way, so... Also, the bandits are heading our way to help us. Also, there's the army. The there's the Baron's army, that is. I might try... Hang on, where is he? Must retreat to the castle. Okay, you retreated to the castle. Might be in a little bit of trouble here, actually. Uh... Soldier's limit is reached. Okay, our so well, our army isn't really dying right now, I guess. That's good to see. Okay, where is he? It's getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. You can also see they've got a battering ram cart there. Two of them, actually. At once. Yes, my liege. Okay, where is he now? I'm sure he's close. Oh, he's very close. There he is. Just need a capture that cart, who is, which has been guarded. Come on. Charge. Come on. Take and capture part. it. Ha. We have caught the Baron. Well done. And there we go. What are you doing? I am the Baron of Randolfingen. I demand that you let me go. We are very grateful for your help. The Baron is caught, and Galos can become safe and prosperous once more. If peace is breaking out here, I'm out of a job. Ah, well, those are the breaks. Perhaps if your ruler is looking for a talented knight to help out, put in a good word for me. Okay then. That's the end of the mission. And that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.